everyone in the previous video we learned about uh, different types of support and resistance and now in today's video we will learn how to spot the chart pattern it is also one more concept in uh, swing trading it is a uh, basics of swing trading guys so at the end of the video you will be knowing it completely how to spot the chart patterns and also we will spot such patterns on the practical charts as it will be fun so guys there are two different types of chart patterns one is a continuation pattern the other is reversal pattern continuation pattern is if a stock is moving in uptrend in certain area it gets consolidated and continue its trend and it stays in uptrend only but in reversal patterns if a stock is going in uptrend in certain area it gets consolidated and after that it breaks that end it falls and goes into the opposite trend if it is in uptrend in the beginning then after such consolidated area it gets into the downtrend so this this is the difference between continuation patterns and reversal pattern continuation pattern it just continues its trend after that consolidated uh, some certain area where it forms the patterns within which i am showing you here and uh, these are the reversal patterns which started in such areas where the trend is reversed if the uptrend is uh, there it is reversed to downtrend that is the difference between continuation patterns and reversal patterns so here we have uh, continuation patterns so i'll just explain you those things these are the patterns which are made in those consolidated area when we might think the trend might get changed from down to up but this pattern it seen then it indicates that the trend remains in the same trend direction only if it is in up then it will stay in up and if the direction is down in downside then the means it remains in the down direction only the trend remains in down direction only. okay so now let me explain you this first pattern which is uh, falling wedge guys if you look at this these are all flag like shape so we call it flag patterns also when we spot it so these are all flag like shape uh, patterns and we don't have to remember all these names you just have to analyze the, the patterns and you have to copy paste all these patterns in your mind so whenever you see the chart you have to spot all these patterns there okay so when a stock price moves from down to up so in, when the stock is in uptrend in some consolidated area it starts making this kinds of waveforms okay these are waveforms the higher higher these are the lower lower high and lower lows okay and uh, we can draw a line connecting all those uh, resistance area as well as a line with this support area so you will find this kind of a wedge like pattern okay so that's why it is called as falling falling wedge so what we have to do is we have to wait until it gets out from this region so once the price or the candle is candle has break this point we can take the entry in this region okay and our target will be this first wave uh, length when it had entered the consolidated area we have to take the same length as our target and we keep our stop loss as usual below the swing low recent swing low we can keep our stop loss somewhere here guys so this is the falling wedge pattern okay and the next one is bullish rectangle similarly it comes from the it's an up direction up trend most comes from down here and you it makes a wave form and when you draw a line on its resistance area and uh, support area you will find a rectangular flag like shape here this is the pole and this is the flag okay so we wait for the candle to come out of it the price to break this region and once it comes out we just take our entry here and our target will be the same thing this region will be our target okay okay 
so again here I'll show you this is bullish pin and so again the price comes from down it makes a waveform if you see it is a pennant like shape here and uh, once the price breaks it we take our entry here so if you see it it's like a flag like patterns only sometimes it might make a this kind of pattern sometime like this sometime like this so all are similar to flag like shape only so once the price comes out of this region we take the entry here and our target will be this length okay and our stop loss we keep it below the previous swing low as I have told you in the previous videos also where we have to keep the stop loss below the previous swing low for the uptrend stocks so this indicates that if the stock price comes from down top and it is an uptrend if the stock is an uptrend okay so in consolidated area it makes this kind of pattern okay there might be chance of uh, going in downtrend also people might think that the uh, trend has uh, changed it might change now but if it makes this kind of pattern you wait for the price to break from this region and once the price breaks here you take the entry and keep your target here and similarly this was for this was in the case of uptrend okay so when the stock is in downtrend so the stock price comes from up to down now it's in downtrend direction it makes this kind of waveform which is called as rising wedge okay it's also a flag like shape now it is making flag like this this kind of a flag like shape so similarly like to the uptrend stock or what i explained now so similarly here for rising wedge it uh, the price comes here and it makes a waveform if you draw a straight line here on its support and resistance you will again find a wedge like uh, pattern here and you wait for it to come outside this region okay you wait for it to come outside this region and one it, once it comes outside this region you take the entry here in this region means you take the entry okay and your targets will be the length of this region you keep the targets similarly here and your stop loss on the recent or the previous swing high for downtrend direction and similarly here again it makes a bearish rectangle shape stock comes here and the, enters the consolidated region and it makes a flag like a structure here again if you see and waveforms are formed between these two lines in between the resistance and support region okay and once it we wait for it to break its support region once it breaks this line and comes here we just take those trades and our target is kept as the length of the this part is our target stop loss above the previous swing high similarly it makes another pattern it makes a triangle like shape sometimes a wedge like shape sometimes a rectangular shape Like this so these are all similar kind of patterns which you can observe we wait for the candle to break this region once it breaks this region we take the entry here and our target is this region so I hope you understood this now uh, I'll explain about the uh, bilateral patterns so here uh, you will know what is this. so ascending triangle this makes a triangle like shape okay so this makes a triangle like shape all looks like flag only it makes a triangle like shape so the price uptrend it comes from uh, and it enters the consolidated region 
of the area it starts making its waveform and when you draw a line a straight line on the resistance taking all the resistance and uh, you mean we take the lower highs and lower lows in consideration we just draw the line straight line it forms a triangle like shape or a flag triangle flag so what we do is we just wait for the candle to break okay it might break on the resistance side or maybe on the support side it might break in any any of the side but we wait once it breaks if it breaks on the resistance side we just take the entry here if it breaks on the support side we just take the entry here similarly in the down trend direction if the trend is down it makes a again a triangle like shape you can you will we will observe all these patterns in our chart so now here if you see it enters the consolidated area it makes a waveform between the resistance and uh, support region only continuous waveforms high rise and higher lows okay so we wait for this region to break or this region if you see and once it breaks we just enter here and our target will be this this length will be our target and we keep the stop loss below this breaks on the resistance okay if it breaks in the support side we keep the stop loss on the previous swing high here if you observe you will see a straight line at the bottom okay a straight line but the top line is the the resistance line is inclined okay but in the symmetrical triangle you can see both the lines are inclined here in the ascending the top resistance line is uh, straight and but just the support line is inclined uh, but in descending triangle you can see the resistance line is inclined and the support line is straight but in symmetrical both the lines are inclined and wave forms all these uh, high rise or higher lows or lower highs or lower lows are formed between the resistance and support line okay and what we do is we just draw these lines okay whatever i told you we have to draw this upon it we use a trend line and we just draw it considering all the resistance areas and the support areas it makes this kind of a shape flag like a symmetrical triangle shape and then once it breaks in any of the side maybe on the resistance side or support side once it breaks and the candle is closed we just take the entry here if it breaks on the resistance side we take the entry here and we just book our target as per this length on either side if it falls this side and if it goes this side we just this will be the length of the target guys so this is about the continuation patterns so guys now the another type of pattern that is reversal pattern so i'll just briefly explain what is reversal pattern again so reversal pattern is nothing but if a stock is going in uptrend in that consolidation area it makes some patterns like whatever you can see here such patterns and it just breaks it trends and goes in the reverse trend if it is in uptrend it makes such patterns and goes in the downtrend if it is in downtrend it makes such patterns here whatever you see and goes in the uptrend so this is something it which breaks the trend and forms its new trend so here if you can see the first one is double top so the price in the uptrend price it has gone from down to up it's in uptrend the stock is in uptrend and uh, it makes a double top kind of pattern you see here these are the double top this is the line you plot the you see a double top when this neckline whatever you see here this is the neckline okay this line when it breaks and comes down you we have to take the entry we take the entry here and our 
stop loss will be somewhere in this region below that entry and the target length would be this way just mark it in black so this will be the length of the target this region so this will be the target region so I'll again explain ways it makes a double top kind of a pattern you can see this double top and when it breaks this neckline this is neckline and it breaks it and falls down you can assume it has entered the downtrend and we take the entry here and reach our target and our target region will be the length of the target will be from here to here okay this will be the uh, target length and uh, our stop loss would be somewhere below the entry region here half of the one of the wings of the double top somewhere in the half region half here most commonly spotted uh, pattern is this whenever the trend is changed that is head and shoulder so why it is called as head and shoulder because it has two shoulders these are the shoulders and uh, a head in between this is head so that's why it's called as head and shoulder so when the price moves up it makes this kind of a pattern a shoulder and a head and again a shoulder and what we do is we draw a neckline taking the bottom okay the support region we take it as neckline when this candle or the price when it breaks this support region and comes down we enter the trade okay and we enter the trade and we book our target in the in this region and that will be the length of the head head part whatever we see in the waveform that will be the our target the length length of this waveform okay the middle waveform's length will be the target and similarly uh, we'll find a rising wedge also uh, we find a flag like uh, shape there even that can change the trend whenever we spot such patterns we can spot these patterns also many times whenever the trend is changed from up to down or down to up so it makes a flag like uh, waveform and uh, we just draw the line on the resistance and uh, a support then considering taking the higher highs or the higher lows or the lower lower highs or the lower lows we just consider it and we just draw a line and do, we can see it as a wedge shape uh, pattern here and once it, it breaks the 10 direction we just enter the trade somewhere here guys so once it breaks this region and crosses it we just enter the trade and we book our target as to the length of this region this region will be our target wedge okay this is all about the rising wedge and we observe similar kind of patterns in the downtrend whenever there is a downtrend and it has it is breaking the downtrend and wants to move in the uptrend in such consolidated areas we find these kinds of patterns so this is double bottom this is highly observed when the trend is changed all these three patterns are highly observed these are the important patterns so you can see it makes two bottoms so it is called as double bottom so it forms a neckline so whatever the bottom it makes in between is the neckline we just draw the line taking all those support and once it breaks that region we enter the trade here and we just take the swing and book our profits and our target will be to the length of this region this region is equal to our target region this region okay and as i explained you earlier the head and shoulder it forms a inverse head and shoulder in the downtrend stocks so when the stock is in downtrend it makes a inverse head and shoulder pattern and it moves to the uptrend so here you can see this is one shoulder 
in your shoulder and one head in between and another shoulder so we find such patterns so guys it doesn't exactly forms this shape it might form like this uh, kind of a pattern or maybe this and this something like this so it doesn't look similar to this exactly but we can identify such patterns okay it makes similar kinds of patterns but not exact with this geometrical measurement okay it will be little different so here once it breaks its neckline we enter the trade here because it is indicating that the trend has changed from down trend to up trend and we take the trade here and we book our target here and this length as i already told you the length of this region will be the neckline region the length of the head region is equal to the length of the target region guys okay so lastly we have one more last pattern which was uh, similar to rising wedge but it is in downtrend you see a falling wedge here a stock is in downtrend it is falling and uh, you see a waveform what we do is we draw a trend line taking all the supports and the resistance region and once it breaks this region guys once it breaks this region we take the entry here you can see a uh, entry here the entry region this region we take the entry and our target will be this length so guys uh, before we spot the patterns on the practical charts i want to add one more thing so we have seen uh, this double top pattern or double bottom pattern we may find triple top patterns also like this or uh, maybe triple bottom patterns something like this similarly we'll draw a resist on our resistance we will draw a straight line and also a line on the trend line on the support and we wait for the line to break okay once it breaks here we enter the trade and everything is similar about the target the target will be the this length only once after the neckline the candle breaks its neckline and comes somewhere around this region we just take the trade similarly we draw a support line and a resistance line with the resistance for double bottom patterns similar it everything is same but here we find one more uh, waveform okay so once it breaks it uh, resistance region or the neckline region whatever we say it we just enter once it breaks okay and everything is similar with the target on the stop loss the target length will be this region we just have to wait until it breaks its neckline once it breaks its neckline we just enter the trade and we keep this stop loss in this region because this is very huge uh, stop loss so we keep our stop loss in this region guys half of the this waveform and keep our uh, stop loss in this region half of the neckline region guys simple then if the length is this of the neckline we keep our stop loss to its half okay as per your comfort so now we'll begin with the live charts or the practical charts so these chart patterns are uh, highly effective in higher time frame guys maybe daily chart or weekly chart or monthly time frame chart we can make good profits with that guys so i'll just uh, show you pattern which i spotted in the nifty chart so i've taken nifty here and here if you can see it has formed a head and shoulder pattern so this is the one shoulder the head region and another shoulder okay and we just draw the neckline so this is the neckline once it breaks the neckline we just have to enter the trade here now we can see how it has fallen and uh, if we see the target range we could have made 
around 39 percentage that is 1725 points in one trade so again the trend has changed here if you see properly it has formed a double bottom pattern here and this is the trend line once this neckline whatever uh, we call it as neckline or the trend line once it breaks that region we have to enter the trade and you can see how the trend has changed after this so these trend changing patterns are called as reversal patterns so this is head and shoulder when the trend was in up it pushed it to down with this pattern and uh, when the trend was down it made a double bottom pattern and turned it to uptrend so it reverses the trend so that's why we called it as a reversal pattern guys so if you see the profit what is made here it is about to if you the target here it is 58 percent which is 1848 points guys in one trade so this is the power of swing trade so guys again we found one more uh, we spotted one more pattern here if you can observe here there's one more uh, head and shoulder pattern here and we just draw our uh, neckline like this So it need not to be like this only, it can take any other shapes also guys. After that you can observe here how the stock has fallen from this region, it's just fallen down. So this is the, when it crosses this trend line, it has changed its direction, trend direction from up to down. So this is one reversal pattern guys. I have taken daily time frame of nifty so I'll see if I can spot some more uh, patterns here okay here okay so if you see here it has taken one more head and shoulder pattern here and uh, once the trend line is broken and uh, we just take the trade here and it falls see here we can observe uh, a triple bottom pattern 1, 2 and 3, 3 bottom patterns, you can observe, you can see 3 bottoms, we just draw a neckline here, making use of all 3 resistance, so this triple has uh, formed just to take the trend to the reverse side so it has come from the downtrend now after this pattern is formed triple bottom pattern the price has jumped you can see here it has completely changed its trend from downtrend to uptrend so it reverses the trend guys so now i have taken siemens uh, india uh, india limited chart so now it's a uh, daily chart here so i'll take monthly chart i want to explain one one more thing we find patterns in patterns okay so we'll find a pattern in higher time frame chart and then we go to little lower like if we take monthly chart we'll find a pattern there and then we go to the daily chart and we find patterns there too okay so this will help us to understand the trend in the higher time frames so we just analyze it on the higher time frame charts and we execute trades in the daily chart only in swing trading guys okay so here if you see i've taken monthly chart then just draw a trend line here if you observe it properly i have also explained about the flags or uh, rising wedge or the falling wedge we had we had seen i'll just show you that if you see here it has formed a triangular shape pattern here so i'd explained you that it forms a triangular uh, whenever it forms a triangular we just wait for it resistance region to break so here if you see properly you can see a triangular sh pattern so once it breaks this region you can see this region we just enter the trade here and we take the swing you can see it has gone to the uptrend here from here 
if you see just the profit from here around 50 percent profit so this is how so now we'll go to the lower time frames from the monthly so here we have taken monthly to analyze the trend so once it breaks the trend has gone up okay so guys here again i have spotted one more opportunity here i'll just show you that see here from here if you draw a trend line should train your eye so that it can easily spot such patterns in the chart wise so if you see this is a bullish rectangle pattern so what we do we just wait for this candle to form we just wait to a candle to form here outside this trend line region once it breaks this trend line we just enter the trade but unfortunately it has fallen because of the corona's disaster in the country it was supposed to go like this but uh, sudden uh, disaster it happens in the market uh, very 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 rarely it happens in the market and uh, unfortunately it has hit many of the stop loss also it has come here but not maybe if you have missed the stop stop loss and still they are in the trade and say that but this is just because of the disaster or is it would have taken the uptrend ways so as i told you before we find patterns in the patterns so we have found the patterns in the monthly chart now again we can find patterns in this region guys in this region we can find uh, again many patterns so we just draw the bullish rectangle pattern in the monthly chart now we will find the patterns in the patterns guys so we have drawn the pattern in the monthly chart and i have only taken that area which we had uh, drawn the pattern now i will show you the reversal pattern whenever the downtrend to uptrend uh, reversal had happened so the stock was downtrend here from here it was in the downtrend guys if you see properly now here it has made a triple bottom just a little uh, magnify it guys for you yeah see here if you see it has made a triple bottom pattern and it has gone into the uptrend so we what we do is we just draw the trend line from here on the neckline just to identify the neckline we we just draw the trend line and once that trend line is broken we just enter the trade so you get multiple opportunities if you see here there is double bottom patterns whenever there's a trend change here see from uptrend to downtrend is changing you can see a triple bottom triple top pattern so you see multiple such uh, patterns whenever the trend is changing again if you see here we can find one more uh, triple bottom pattern here and once you find that triple bottom pattern we draw a neckline for the reference and once that neckline is broken we just take the trade and this will be your target this length whatever the length is here this will be your target length and you book your target somewhere in this region guys okay so this is how we spot the different types of pattern guys i want you to see all the patterns again check it on different charts you will find multiple such patterns train yourself and whenever you see any of the chart you have to just spot such patterns and make use of such patterns guys now i have taken zindal steel stock weekly chart we use high time frame charts only to analyze the trend direction guys and we use daily chart to execute trades okay so if you see here from here the stock has fallen if you properly observe here you can see this as a pole here and a flat pattern or a bearish rectangle pattern formed here guys so once in the trend line the price breaks its trend line we have to enter the trade and once you enter the enter the trade you see how it has fallen so again if you see here 
one more pattern is formed again you see one more pole is formed below that only this is pole and this is a flat pattern and once it breaks you just have to use trend line only i'm just showing you for example just when it breaks here you have to enter the trade and it falls so this flag like uh, pattern need not be like this only it can be like this like this in any angle but it makes a pole and a flag it might be a triangle also guys like this it might be a triangle or uh, uh rising wedge or falling wedge whatever it might make we have to wait for it to break its trend line so we draw with the help of the support and the resistance we have to draw a trend line when it breaks we enter the trade and we wait for the candle to close when it breaks if the candle is closed outside those trend lines then we can take the trade so if you see again here recently okay then i'll just show you here it made a triple bottom pattern this is the neckline once it breaks the neckline it changed this its trend direction it goes in down trend now when it breaks it went into the up trend guys so again one more pattern here this uh, we spotted this pattern of a uh, triple bottom and now we'll find one more pattern here this is the pole and if you observe it properly this is one more flag or a or a bullish this is this is what we call as a bullish rectangle so it can be a triangle shaped or a rectangular shape so it had broken its trend line so we draw this trend lines taking the resistance region the lower highs uh, it formed these are the lower highs and these are the lower lows we draw a trend line making use of this guys we just draw this trend line and when this trend line breaks here it was supposed to go in the up trend guys like this but again the stock fell only because of corona disaster you can see the dates also after 24th of 9th of march it has started falling so it started the corona disaster thing started after maybe in mid february yeah so or else it was in the uptrend so again don't worry you just draw a short term trend line once this breaks properly after draw taking the pullbacks once it breaks again you can enter the trade and you'll go in uptrend guys so guys now i have taken bajaj finance chart so this flag structures are commonly seen in the higher time frames guys so see here you can observe this is the pole and it made a flag like structure here and it jumped like anything guys so again it uh, made a pole it's a flop pole just draw this with it and then once it breaks this region it just moves up guys so again if you see there are multiple flag patterns here it's a very good this stock is very good example to show how we spot the flag patterns so again it made a pole here this region and uh, if i draw on the trend line properly you can see this when it breaks that region it just goes up we just have to wait once this crosses this region when it breaks this line and we just take the trade and make profits with the swing guys there are multiple such opportunities here in this stock we again here one more pole it went up so you can find such uh, patterns many times in higher time frames this impact is high in uh, monthly and weekly and uh, daily chart guys always note it down 
so this completes our all concepts in swing trading guys basics of swing trading so if you have any doubts you can put it in the comment section and i hope you have understood it clearly if not kindly watch the videos again and again you will definitely understand it i know this uh, concept is little vast but if you master it you will be on the highest probability of winning and if you are on the highest probability that means you will be making good profits and your losses are less and always always remember that you have to keep stop loss on every trade because stop loss will help you to reduce your losses also many times so always keep stop loss and uh, that's it guys i'll uh, end the video here okay so take care and bye